Morning, Trainiac. Huge workout this morning. Three hours 15 on the bike, followed by a 30 minute run, and I'm afraid of it. So let's procrastinate by talking about customizing your Zwift rider with the new Zwift drop shop, the garage. It's exciting. We can actually put a Ventum on our Zwift rider now. Woo! I wanna do this workout. So historically, you've always been able to update your Zwift rider, customize your Zwift rider, but it was never really tied to anything besides your level in Zwift. And what they just recently updated was a hybrid model of level in Zwift and drop points. And these drop points are associated with drops of sweat. Now you accumulate these drops of sweat, these drop points that you can then use to purchase items in the new updated Zwift garage, the drop shop, A, by riding, but there are two additional ways that you can get more drop points. One is you can ride inclines and you can climb, and this makes perfect sense that they would want to change this because historically you didn't accumulate as much experience points and level up faster because you weren't going as fast in Zwift. So now when you climb, you have an incentive to do that because you're going to accumulate those drop points at a higher rate. You also accumulate drop points for the 15 seconds after you receive a ride on at a higher rate. So it encourages you to develop a little bit of a sense of community, have followers that are excited when you're on the platform. Now to make sure that you have this in the app, you do have to update Zwift. So go to your app store. And if it's not showing that you've got an update like here, just pull down and refresh, hit update. And once you go through that process, the next time you go into Zwift, you'll be able to log in to the drop shop. But that doesn't mean that everyone's starting at zero. When you log into Zwift the next time, you're gonna notice that they will have automatically calculated how many drop points you've got over the course of your entire lifespan on the platform. So you log in as you normally would, and you do have to be in the game. So we'll wake everything up to show you this. Come on, Cadence Pair. So when you get into the game, you're gonna notice that it welcomes you if you've updated the Zwift app with how many drop points you have. It'll prompt you to go to the drop shop so you can go right away, but let's show you how you can get there with being in the game if you don't wanna go into that right away. So you can go ride and you go menu and now you see this little icon that's new here for the garage. So you can go in there and again, this will take you there. Now the two primary things that you can customize are bikes and wheels. And Zwift Outsider did a fantastic article that outlines which bikes and which wheels are associated with how many levels you need and how many drops. So you'll see that some bikes require a certain amount of drop points and a certain amount of levels. So let's go in and show you a few examples. So of course, we want to go to Ventum and see right there. So that is going to end up costing me 482,800 drop points, but I also have to be on level 31. I'm only on level 21 right now. I have about 79,000 experience points and level 31 requires 180,000 experience points. So I know what I'm saving up for. The most expensive bike is the Zwift safety bike, which <laughs> looks really funny. You have to be on level 44 and you need Got it written down here. 3.55 million drop points. <laughs> the bike that requires the highest level to get is the, let's go find it here, the Cervelo P5X, which requires 
1,065,000 experience points and you have to be on level 45. As far as most expensive wheels go, there aren't a ton of really super expensive wheels, but the Zwift safety wheels again, <laughs> which are fairly old school, require 710,000 drop points. And you have to be on level 44. So I can't in the bottom left actually select this. And when you actually do want to select a bike, the Zwift blog outlined point for point with screenshots how to actually do this. And how you do this is let's go to a bike that I would actually go for. Let's go with say like the Canyon Speedmax. You select that and you'll notice that in the bottom left of the screen, there will be a green button for allowing you to select that. No, I'm not gonna do that right now because I got, I, I got a window shop a little bit, but you will select that, then it will ask you to confirm that purchase and then to upload that to your Zwift rider, you're going to have to click equipped on the next screen. So that's the new Zwift garage and drop shot, just a little bit more incentive to regularly take part in the community and get in more rides. Obviously that's what Zwift wants to do. On that note, when I was at the Zwift headquarters, Craig, the marketing guy, awesome triathlete, sub nine hours in Kona, told me about this coming up and he said 100% this will not be a for purchase thing at any point in the future. They wanna make it about community, they don't want it to make, to make it about like purchasing more drop points. They just said like, that doesn't feel like it's in the spirit of what we wanna do with the community. So it's just about riding more and I'm sorry folks, you gotta suffer. I have another 100,000 experience points to accumulate before I can ride that actual, well, pfft. I have a Ventum. I don't need, yes I do need a virtual Ventum. I'm stalling now, but if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button below because I have made a commitment to do more regular Zwift content every single week. All right, let's do this.